learn how to change paper size and print borderless in Silhouette Studio to use with our mini party printables paper, then keep on watching. Hey y'all, Victoria Cherie here from Pretty Party and Crafty. This is going to be a really quick tutorial on how you can use our mini party printables paper and print your 5x7 design directly from Silhouette Studio. So let's jump right into it. So we have Silhouette Studio open and this is typically how the screen looks. But what we want to do is make sure that we have it set to print on 5x7 paper. So what we're going to do, you're going to look in the right side panel and click the first icon with the paper with the corner flipped up. That's going to open the page setup panel. So we'll click that. And we're going to make some changes. So cutting mat, we're not going to have a cutting mat, so I'm just going to select none. For media size, this is where you want to put the size of the paper. So we can just type it in right underneath. So if your design is vertical, the width is going to be 5, and then the height is going to be 7. Okay? So you would use this format if you're doing um, Rice Krispie Treats, if you're doing Hershey Bars, um, you would use it in this format. If you're doing a fruit snack, you're going to use the landscape version, and that's when your width is 7 and your height is five. So you would use this for like fruit snacks that are doing um, a design from left to right. But we're gonna do the vertical version. So I'm doing five by seven. Okay, and if for any reason where it says print and cut borders, if any of these things are checked, you just wanna make sure that you uncheck it so you don't get distracted. All right, so now we have our page set up and we can go ahead and start designing. Me personally, I do not design party favors within Silhouette Studio. It's easier for me to do it in Photoshop, Canva, Affinity, Illustrator. So at this point, if you're designing, you would go ahead and design as usual. I'm going to bring in my design. So I'm just going to foul merge to bring in my Rice Krispie Treat design. Now we are ready to print because remember we are not cutting, we're only printing. So you would go to foul print. Okay, now you have your print preview and what you want to do is hit print. I know it looks wonky, but trust me, trust the process. All you have to do is click print. Okay, so my um, Chrome pops this up. I don't usually use this. If you move this back, this is the one I use. I'm just going to X this out. Okay, now I'm going to select my printer. So I'm going to be printing from my Epson 8500 that's connected to my network. And then I'm going to select preferences. Okay, so this is where you're changing everything to match what you're printing. So paper source, where are you putting the paper? I'm putting the paper in my rear paper feeder. Just make sure because you're printing on 5 by 7 make sure you move those paper guides in your printer so that your paper has a snug fit. Okay, document size, this is important. We want to click that and we want to change the document size to 5 by 7 because we're printing on 5 by 7 paper. We also want to select borderless. All right, um, it's going to give you a warning. Just hit OK. Now, it's very important to note, not all printers print borderless 5 by 7 You have to look at your printer specifications. So I know some printers only print borderless 4 by 6 um, Those are on the cheaper end. So make sure when you're getting a printer or using a printer, make sure you look at the specifications to see what size that they're able to print borderless. So once I have that checked, I'm going to go to my settings. Auto expand is selected. Um, for the amount of enlargement, it's giving you standard. Um, you don't want to go that high. Just select medium. So minimum, you might get a white border. We don't want that standard. It'll enlarge a little bit too much. So just go right here in the middle and select mid or medium and hit OK. Now paper type. We're going to change the paper type from plain paper and we want to make sure that we select photo paper glossy. 
if you're using a HP printer, um, you want to select HP Photo. All right, color is color. Quality, um, you could select standard or high. My 8500 and my 8550, they're photo printers, so they have really amazing quality. So I can get away with selecting standard for my quality, and it'll still come out looking great. If yours doesn't come out looking great with standard, you'll just have to select high. Now, just keep in mind, when you select high, it will take longer to print. So that's just something to keep in mind. I'm going to select standard. And I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to hit print. Okay, now it's printing out. Again, this is the 8500. I'll have it linked in the description. So this is a close-up of what it looks like once you have it printed. It's 5 by 7 It's borderless. This is with our mini 5 by 7 party printables paper, so no having to cut. Hopefully you learned something new. Be sure to subscribe and comment. Later, y'all.